Welcome, welcome, welcome to our first Let's Play here on Welcome Farms. Um, I'm excited. I'm ready to get right into this Let's Play. This map is great, and I hope it's going to be a fun one. Um, so yeah, let's kind of get right into it here. Um, like I said, we're going to be here on Welker Farms. Uh, let's go ahead and start off. We're going to look at our equipment. Um, kind of show you the fields we got here. So let me pull up the map and I can kind of show you guys. We're going to be starting out here on field two with our home farm, um, right there. And then we're going to be farming on, uh, 20 and 21 to kind of start out with. Um, I picked these fields rather than the big field around our farm. Mostly because the fields are just huge. They're massive fields on this, this map. Um, and to be honest, uh, we just ain't got the equipment to to handle that big field yet, you know. So I figure we'd go with two smaller fields, kind of to start out with. And as we grow and as we get bigger, we can go ahead and purchase some more fields and some bigger equipment. So let's kind of get right into it and let's uh, kind of look at our starting equipment we got here. So over here we got the... Uh, John Deere 8245R, uh, 30 inch row crops, duels on the back, uh, full weight, um, I think it's a 290 horse roughly, I think is what kind of the starting tractor, so a decent sized tractor to start with. And then around back here we got uh, our Manitou forklift, we're going to be using this to unload seed, fertilizer, and anything else we need, our two uh, employees. They don't really do much, kind of just stand there. It's all right. We got to have someone to watch the shop too, you know what I mean? Um, out here we got our Lizard Pickup 2014 service pickup. It's got our uh, uh, diesel tank in the back. And then we're going to run over here to this shed. It's kind of where we're going to keep all our implements. So we're going to start with a weeder. Uh, I think this is the Joker 12 disc or cultivator. However you want to say it, we call it a disc here in the Midwest, but... Um, yeah, it's a cultivator. And then we got the John Deere uh, T560i combine. This is the smallest John Deere combine. And then we got the new mod out, uh, the Great Plains. Um, the smaller planter, but this one holds fertilizer too, so that, that's a game changer right there. We can go ahead and fertilize and plant at the same time. Um, and then the weeder, like I said. So let's go ahead and shut that door. We can run over here. And I think in this one, no, not in this one, the next one. Yep, all right, here we are. We got our uh, coon sprayer. I think it's 36 meters. Um, I haven't used the pull type, so I'm kind of excited to start right off with that one. Um, we got our trailer to go pick up our seed and fertilizer. Our brettle, I think that's how you say it. I could have butchered that, but uh, lime spreader and fertilizer spreader um, with the 6 meter attachment on it. And then our Kenzie grain cart. So that's kind of what we're starting with of our main stuff. I think over here, yep, around the corner, we got our uh, John Deere grain header. Uh, it's the smaller one. But it's still decent. I think we can still get plenty done with this. Um, yeah. So let's get right into it. Um, let's go ahead and head over here. Let's see here, actually. Do we have anything that needs to be fertilized? Or Nope, we're, f we're fully fertilized, so that's good. Man, that takes a load off, so we can just... Uh, and they're both cultivated, so really, we can get right into planting. Um, let's see if they need lime by chance before we... If I can find it here. Nope, we're good. We don't even need to spread lime. Man, we're lucking out this year, aren't we? They kind of got everything set up perfect for us. All right, so I guess with that being said, let's go ahead and we'll head over to our, uh, let's go get hooked to the trailer. Get the lizard pickup out here and get hooked to the trailer and we'll run to the store and we can pick up our seed fertilizer and we'll be coming back here and get ready to plant. So let's go head and back up here to the trailer All 
Yeah, let's get a little closer. There we go. Alrighty. So, um, I'm going to head over to the store. And I think I'll see you all when I get there. Alright, so it's a little bit of a drive, but we made it. Uh, here we are at the store. Oh, our, our John Deere, uh, our corn header's over here. I forgot to pick that up. So we'll have to come pick up that sometime. Let's go ahead and here take a look at it. Um, I think it's the John Deere 608C. I think the C stands for chopping, but don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure on my John Deere's. I'd have to ask my buddy. He's way more into John Deere. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and buy some seed here. Pioneer seed. The big bags, they hold 1,000 liters. So let's go ahead and buy uh, four of them. Three, four, there we go. And we'll hop into our, thank God, the, they, um, they have a forklift here for us to load things up with. Now bear with me here. I'm not the greatest with these yet. I haven't quite figured it all out. Um, so, but let's go ahead and load these up. Now let me know in the comments and stuff um, what you guys all want to do. I'm thinking, you know, I'm from the Midwest, uh, so we, we see a lot of corn and soybeans. I'm thinking that's what we're going to start with this year. Uh, we'll do one field corn, one field soybeans. Um, I'd like this to be a pretty realistic series, so um, you're not going to see anything too crazy or, you know... Um, but yeah, I want let me know in the comments section what you guys want to see. If you want to see animals, if you want to see some horses, I mean, we can kind of do anything. Now, keep in mind, I am on console, so any mods or anything like you are going to see, or anything you guys are going to see on here, is all going to be on console. So that's one thing I really wanted to showcase, is that Farming Simulator 19 can still be fun on console. You know, uh... Them PC guys, they, they get everything. I mean, man, they can get kind of, they get all the cool stuff. But I really, really wanted to showcase that that console still gets, it's still a great game. You still get good quality mods. And we can still play the game and enjoy it. So that's kind of what I wanted to showcase, especially in this Let's Play series. Um, it's a great map, and it's it's a great game. I'm having fun playing this and I'm sure you guys all at home that play are having fun um, so yeah let's uh, go ahead and load these these big bags of seed up um, and here we go let's pick up a little more tilt forward and set it down right about there I think yeah, that looks good I'm surprising myself here. Like I said, I'm not. <laughs> this is still. Uh, I'm still not the greatest with the, with the forklifts and things like that. Um, I remember on 17 when we finally got a forklift. Man, I was stoked. I, uh, I enjoyed using it. But man, it's not the easiest. So I, I didn't show you guys, but um, we are playing with plowing on fertilizing on um, weeds are on the only thing that's not on is plant withering just because for this let's play I, I, I kinda wanna make sure that we can progress how we want to until we get seasons here so like right now would be spring that's kinda where we're starting and, and we'll kinda represent our seasons until seasons mod gets to console um so bear with me i might say you know i might say that it's 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 the summertime and crops are growing and then i might say it's harvest time and i might even say it's winter and we're not doing much you know um i'm just trying to replicate seasons until we get seasons so let's go ahead and here and buy our solid fertilizer grab two of them and two liquid fertilizers too as well let's go ahead and get these loaded up and we'll pick the fork 
rocks up here. There we go. Yeah. Now, since our uh, since our two fields are fertilized, I'm not going to be putting any fertilizer on, so we'll have to store these in a building somewhere for next year. Um, like I said, we lucked out there. That's that's a that's a huge plus that we ain't got to spend no money on fertilizing our fields for the first year. Um, man, you just can't get any luckier than that, can you? So, but anyway, I'd kind of like to do some uh, some cattle. I wouldn't mind doing cattle. Uh, if you guys would like to see that, let me know. Uh, I think cows would be kind of fun. They're a little bit of work, but you make some decent money off them in the end. And as you can see, we're only at 51000 But I think we have everything we kind of need to start off with. And let's see if we can get some money rolling in from some grain. Uh, we actually don't have a loan yet. Uh, I'd like to keep it that way, you know. Um, try not to try not to owe money to the bank. That's always a good thing, especially in farming with the with the uh, prices that you know they go up and down. And you, we could be in a we could be in a real slow year just crops ain't producing very well prices aren't the best um, we want to make sure we have those cash reserves to make it to another year so we're not going upside down um, so as you can see like, like I said right now we're fifty one thousand six hundred and thirty four dollars in the green that's what we like to hear uh, we're positive so um, yeah let's well, we about got everything loaded up here. Maybe. Tilt forward, back up. Come on. Yeah. One last shuttle to go. Let me get squared up here. Now it'll be a miracle if I can get this on the trail without dropping it. <laughs> Spin around here. Alright. Pick up just a tad. Let's push that other one forward just a pinch. There we go. Oh. Alrighty, we did it. So let's uh, pull this um, back up over out of the way. Thank, thanks to the shop for helping us <laughs> let us use it to load up. We'll uh, park it right here. Shut her down. Go ahead and strap our load down. Oops, I forgot what button does it. <laughs> there we go. Get her all strapped nice and tight. Make sure nothing's going to move on us. Oh, can I get one more right up front here? Yes, sure can. Alrighty. So, um, I'm going to head back to the farm. I think I said it's a little bit of a drive. So, uh, I'll see y'all when we get back to the farm. Alright, so we made it back to the farm. Uh, got everything loaded, shot down. Nothing moved on us, thank God. Wouldn't have been a good thing if we lost anything on the way here. Uh, sorry if my voice is kind of a little kind of weird and stuff like that. I am sick at the moment, so nothing better than being sick and trying to play some farm sim. Uh, Get you something to do while you're stuck in the house all day. So let's go ahead and back this out of here. And we can try to start unloading. Get everything unstrapped. Uh, 
get our first one uh, here. Now, I'm sure this is gonna be a wreck. I, 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 I got lucky. I'm telling you guys, I got lucky there unloading everything up. It's kind of hard and it's difficult. So, <laughs> I'm sure you guys are way better than me, but somehow we got this one just barely. <laughs> just leave her run all right so let's go ahead and open these two doors up and we'll get our planter and our tractor out and we can get it loaded up with some seed and uh, get ready to plant take a good look at the interior of this tractor is this, this is the uh, this is the US modded version um, it's on mod hub uh, really really good quality mod it, it really kind of changed the game for me personally I like seeing the more US style things uh, we personally on our farm uh, oh yeah I haven't kind of explained that to you guys I I work on a uh, 5,000 acre farm uh, here in Nebraska and we plant 30 inch rows so having 30 inch row crop duels that's really a plus for me it kind of makes it brings it more to my style of farming uh, so that's a big plus thank you for whoever modded this in the game I, I really appreciate all the mods that you, and all the modding that everyone does for us here on console because uh, us guys on console we have to take uh, we can't take any mods for granted because it's I know how tough it is to get a mod on console and it takes a lot of time and effort and hours and that's stuff that I personally wouldn't be able to do so thank you guys so much um, let's see if we can get this front one I know in real life you try to load from the back to the front so the pickup didn't lift off the ground but uh, for our sake we just need to see it off the front so that's what I'm trying to grab Well, I kind of knocked the other one off, so <laughs> let's go to the other side here and try to grab this one. I think it's gonna take us three, three full ones, maybe, maybe not quite. We're at 68% right now, so oh, who parked that there? Hopefully, we didn't scratch nothing. I think we should be fine. Uh, I don't think I can grab it from this side. All right, let's go to the other side. All right, now this is gonna be tough. But Uh, maybe come on nope all right back up a little bit here no. set her down all right all right we got it this time ah, I hit the I, <laughs> I hit the fertilizer all right third time's the charm right that's what they always say third time's got to be the charm back up here and I'm gonna miss this one this time there we go we got it Jeez, I tell you what <laughs> that was the struggle uh, lift her all the way up here and let's go ahead and get her put into the into our hopper oh about a hundred liters short I think that's all right well uh that way we got extra, so 
let's go ahead and hit the road. We'll head over to field, I think, 20. And let's get some corn on the ground. Get a good look at our tractor and our planting set up here if I can keep it on the road. <laughs> Make sure our beacon's on. Really, it's just a good... These are both really good quality mods, I tell you what. Uh... So anyway, the field we're going to start planting, I think, is right up here on the right. Yep. Uh, we're going to do our two end rows here. I be yeah, let's do our two end rows right here. And we'll plant this field north to south. up here and let's go ahead and get our first seed of the year in the ground so anyway like I was telling you guys uh, I am from Nebraska I farm 5,000 acres here and uh, we uh, we personally have case IH tractors on our farm uh, we got two 620 quad tracks and a 385 stagger um, if you guys would ever like to see them, let me know, and I, I could always make a video of uh, my real life farming experience as well as I like to take a lot of things that I've I've learned from farming in real life, try to put it in the farm sim. For me, the realism of the game is what makes it fun. Uh, I know some people like to have super giant equipment and like to farm at 15 mile an hour planting. You know, I, I wish, I wish, I wish in, in real life we could plan at 15 mile an hour. Uh, I know John Deere makes a planner that you can go 10. Um, we personally have a 36 row uh, Case IH planner. Uh, 30 inch row spacing. We plant right around 5, 5.5 mile an hour. So, we're planting 9 mile an hour here. Uh, and that's that's pretty quick, so we really can cover some acres uh, we can go ahead and do our headlands here we'll pull up here to the end and we'll start our first pass along this end of the field and we'll plant around that center deal try not to get hit by any traffic put her in the ground Concrete truck, Ooh, man. I maybe he's taking concrete to our farm. We could use some. <laughs> Wouldn't mind having a concrete yard. It would be pretty nice. I'm not sure what this is for. Is this? It must be like a like a well station for, or a substation. I'm not 110 percent sure. Let me know in the comment section if you guys know what this is actually for. <laughs> Uh, you know, here in Nebraska, we have pivots on our field, big irrigation uh, pivots. You know, they, they go around in a circle and irrigate our fields. So you see a lot of pivot drives like this. Like, if you drive out here to the center, this would be where the pivot's at. And it'd go all the way around. I'm not sure that's what this is for. <laughs> but uh, it's what I like to pretend it is, uh, our irrigation drive. <laughs> uh, you never know. We have T-tape on our farm, which is underground irrigation. Um we got little sheds like this right here on the edge of our field and then there's uh there's plastic lines that run underneath the ground throughout our field and we can turn on each section 
and water a section of the field with that. So maybe that's what this is, uh, some type of irrigation. I'm not uh, sure. Just my guess. Uh, but nevertheless, we'll plant around it, I suppose. Go ahead and pull up here to the fence, pick up. We get back up here. I think we can make the turn up here. Try not to get hit by the cement truck. <laughs> and we can make our last pass here on the side. Be the west side of the field. All right, so guys, <laughs> pay no attention to the sign. Um, I put it in here when I was trying to set things up for the Let's Play, getting the equipment I wanted and things like that to start with. So, you know, us console guys, we gotta get, kinda gotta do some things different than a PC guy can. So, kinda understand that. <laughs> uh, I'll take it out. We won't get any more money out of it. Um, like I said, I just used it kind of as a tool to set, set up the Let's Play how I wanted to set it up. Let's go ahead and hit these south end rows and we'll be ready to hit the main part of the field. tell you what this really is just just a good looking map overall I mean it, it's been fun playing on it uh, if I can stay straight here <laughs> uh, it's been fun playing on it and uh, I've been playing offline with my buddy uh, me and him have been having a great time on this map playing together uh, and uh, I thought it would just be a perfect map to start a let's play on and kind of showcase console mods and the map itself they did a great job uh, I haven't seen any issues with it yet so far so thank you guys for putting out great mods and maps for us again uh, I, like I said I've been enjoying it so uh, let's make our last uh, end row here and I'll see you guys when we get done planting this
Alright, so here we are, gonna make our last pass. Uh, we got about 17% left in the hopper, so that's good. We didn't run out of seed or nothing. Uh, I was kind of getting worried there towards the end, but uh, we made it work. Um, spin around here. And this should do it. Uh, well, uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching uh, the first episode here on Welker Farms of many, I hope. Um, like, subscribe. Um, I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Um, I'd love to make more and kind of uh, hang out with you guys and talk to you guys and have fun playing Farm Sim. Um, I appreciate all the support and everything like that from my friends and everything that kind of talked me into doing this. Um, yeah. So, like I said, if you if you want to see more, let me know in the comment section what you want to see. And like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next episode. Thanks.